Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show, part two of episode 28. My name's Lance Hightower, one of the Cryptid Brothers, coming to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we're going to get right into it. Before we get right into it, though, I do want to highlight what occurred in the first part of this show. So Richard, he wanted, he didn't mind giving his name. He was trying to be a good friend. A friend had requested that he go with him to a local state park outside of Sarasota, Florida. He said something's happening midday to the trash containers, and I don't know what's going on. It's either a homeless person living in the woods or something, but it's big and it's dark. And it, Just come with me if you would. Richard did it. They parked in this area. If you can imagine like a cul-de-sac in your neighborhood where it's kind of a finger off in this park and it turn, has a turnabout and then it comes right back. And so there's a cleared out area with picnic tables, a pavilion, and barbecue grills. And then the woods are real thick and dense around the perimeter of this open area of this state park. And so there's not a lot of people back there that time of the year. This was a week before New Year's last year. They parked. Richard took a picture of this creature at the edge of the wood line that seemed very anxious. It was extremely tall and big. He could see it at about 40 yards. He couldn't quite figure out how to describe it because he had had a previous very close encounter 18 years previous to Bigfoot family or a clan, and it did not resemble anything like what he had seen 18 years previous. So we determined that it was somewhere like a type 3 dog man or a dog squatch. It seemed very agitated, anxious, and almost in an attack mode. Every time these, uh, there was a birthday party going on in which these kids were hitting a piñata, and every time that they would laugh and scream and hit this piñata, this thing became either more agitated and aggressive, and it was poking its head out of the brush of this edge of this wood line. So Richard was to the point where he almost got out of the car to tell this family, hey, you got to get out of here. And about that time, a black car drove by with the gentleman staring at him and another black car having a female stared at him. They went to the end of the turnabout, came back and told Richard that he was ruining an investigation. They drove from there to the office where Richard got out. They asked for his ID. They asked to see his phone. He unknowingly didn't, he didn't know who they were. So he gave him the phone. They took the SIM card and he wanted it back. They wanted his laptop. He said, no, we're going to go round and round. So long story short, he got home that evening. Everything that was on his laptop information regarding what he does for a living was gone, as well as photos. His friend that invited him there to witness whatever was going on, and he was unaware of anything, what it was. He lost his job after nine years, and so this was all new, entirely new to Richard and his friend. No one was giving answers. No one gave their name, what agency they represent. So Richard and I spoke about possibly what to do to get his information back. And so this is where we pick up for part two today, and we'll go right there, right now. Well, after I talked to you, uh, I I, kind of thought you was with with them guys. (laughs) Sorry. Uh, Oh, no. Because they're, uh, I guess they got, they know what, they know that I talked to you, or they know I'm still talking to you right now, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Uh, they told me everything I said. I went to get my, I tried to get my stuff back on my computer. Oh yeah, yeah. And, so, so, so back up for me just a little bit and tell me what what you did, if you don't mind. Well, what I, what they told me is uh, what it doesn't matter me talking to you or not. Ain't that ain't going to change nothing? Who's going to believe me? So they did they know that you talked to me? Yes, sir. They told me everything I said to you. They told me everything you said to me. Interesting. So how did they... Uh... I guess that's what we come to find out because I I thought I thought you was I thought you was working with them at first. That's why I never called you back. Well, no, no, I I don't. I, I do. Oh, I, I know that now, but I I I'm I'm sorry for thinking like that. But no, I don't blame you. So. Tell me, I, I just want to get my mind's eye wrapped around this. You, how did, how did what, you find- what happened was, is I, I talked to you the night I talked to you. I had left and I went and I went to the boys' camp that's in front of the park entryway. 
and I sat, and I was waiting for these vehicles to pull back in. Well, they pulled up. One was coming out. One was going in at the same exact time. I guess they talked to each other or whatever. So I just pulled in behind them and locked, locked them in, really, is what I did. And I got out, and, of course, the mousy guy, he got out first, and and I just told him that, you know, I wanted my stuff back on my computer, you know. That's all I want. I don't want, uh, I don't want nothing else. And uh, that's when he told me, so I can crawfish. I'm the only one that ever says crawfish. I've never heard no one say crawfish in my life. And I told you that I'll tell them whatever I want to hear, and I'm going to crawfish on them. You remember that conversation? I I do. I I remember that. They told me everything, and then I I got pretty upset, and, you know, so I just didn't, there's nothing else I could say, because I didn't, you know, I'm not, I'm a man, I'm not a liar, so, of course, I told them, yes, you know, of course you know, and uh, and they kind of made it sound like he was their partner, which I don't know. They made it sound like I was? Yeah, they made it sound like that, uh, you know, they, they, they know all about you and, you know, you're not hard to handle, whatever that meant. I don't know. I have but, no uh, idea. I have no idea who they are. I did. Well, I, I, I kind of, I know a lot more now than I, I did. So I. So were they in their car when you were talking to them or where were they at? No, I got out of my truck. I pulled in at an angle, and I got out of my truck, and I I kind I did block them in. I did because I stopped in the middle of each vehicle, and one was facing me, and one was facing towards the park. And uh, I got out, and I started. You know, I wanted my stuff back. I wanted stuff on my computer back. So I started talking, and he interrupted me and started telling me everything I I talked to you about. Everything. So, did he have a tape recorder, or he just kind of verbatim just talk about it? He talked about everything I said to you. So he, they're listening to, they're listening to. Uh, they've got something tapped. Did you have your regular? Uh, when you were calling me, did you have your regular phone with you, or what did you have? Yeah, I had my phone that I'm with talking to you on now. That's prob- but that's probably I, what's tapped. It 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 got to be now. I mean, I I talked to another gentleman that's a a game warden, and he between me and him, uh, I we had to go out in the field in the back because he didn't want to talk to me around his house or my house. So we went out in the field and we talked, and because he knew he knows a lot more than he knows a lot more than what they act like they know. Oh, I I realize that absolutely. So at least and, at least he had a candidate. certain things. Certain things happen. They can't. Uh, they got a, a a a protocol. They got to follow. And the, there is theirs is a phone number. Exactly. So I do know all this now. You know. So I mean, if they tap or not tap, you know, I, I you know, I, I don't, you know, you know, they they know, you know, they know that I know. So. And there's too many other people that know. You know what I mean? It's just really, you know, it's really, this is really just crazy. I don't, I don't understand why you'd want to lie to somebody, you know, and try to make people fools when they're not fools. You know what I mean? Well, they do it because it's it's easy to do. They actually Well, have, there's got to be a reason. Well, there uh, is a reason. There's a multitude of reasons why they do it. One and foremost is that they view these cryptids as a dangerous animal it's like a uh, a weapon so that's why the uh, these groups or this group again collectively we call it the men in black or this agency whatever they call themselves or represent they are i can only imagine a part of the security and national defense that's not well known to the average public and they go out and they feel that they're protecting us uh, they're protecting the 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 people by not telling them about this and covering this up. This has been going on for years. And so it's uh, the average person that has these encounters think they're doing a favor by calling the game warden or the sheriff's department and, and or the Department of Natural Resources. And unfortunately, you're just kind of 
starting the catalyst uh, for someone to ultimately tell you to shut your mouth and you didn't see what you saw. Just keep it quiet. You know, first thing that comes out of the mouth is a bear. That's, that's what gets me. Uh, you know, a bear here, if he weighs 150 pounds, <laughs> it's a, that's just a monster. <laughs> that's what gets me. I don't. I, I, I don't even... Well, I, unfortunately, it's easy for them because, you know, 80% of the public is going to go along with that. They're going to say, you didn't see no seven-foot wolf-looking creature. You saw a bear. Come on, man. So it's easy for them. I mean, they're right. If they say that who's going to believe you, well, that's kind of in their favor because not yeah. many people will. They'll rank it up there with the Easter Bunny. There's only well, I was told that they have more... Exact words. What did they? What was the word they told me? They have more. Oh, I can't think of the name they told me. Some sophisticated name. In other words, they have more lawyers and time and money than I will ever have. Well, yeah, it's the federal government. No one. I well, mean, it's the federal government. They. They. Print. I tried. I tried to get anything. I tried to look for anything. I. I mean. I looked so hard that I let them badger me for another 45 minutes just to try to find a, something, a piece of paper. I mean, I looked, I looked so hard, you know, they thought I had my head down. My head wasn't down. My head was down, but man, I was looking for anything that said anything and they're clean as a dead gum whistle. Well, and that's, that's just it. When you're dealing with the government, no one gives their name. Our, our taxes are their salary, and they don't have to say anything. They don't have to acknowledge anything. They don't have to say anything but for the person to be quiet, shut your trap, and they think they can take everything, but uh, there's ways. I'll just say that. If they're listening, there's ways that, that uh, they, don't have, they, they can't get everything. So, well, they threatened me. I, I raise birds and I sell them all over the world, Bob White Quail, and they threatened me with my license for. Uh, what were they? That, how did they say? The what were they going to say? Uh huh. What were they going to do when threatening you? What did they say they were going to do? How were they going? They, to... would, they would take my license with a phone call. My license would be revoked. Uh huh. That's what they told me, without without no hesitation at all. Without no hesitation at all, they told me that flat out. So, and I told them and exactly what I told them is: is if they done something like that to me, over telling the truth, it'd be all in all war. I I promised them that because they know who I am already. They know who I am. They know who my dad is. They know who my uncles are. And if I, they don't think I couldn't cause a wave, man, they got another thing coming. Well, I'd like so. to say, you know, when when it's your livelihood and when it's everything, you you and I care about that because that's that's important to us. You know, your bread and butter. But to them, they don't care. Pardon well, me, they don't care to, to the wind at all. All they're doing. I, I I thought about this. I really, I thought about this, and I thought to myself. If I just lay down and and be quiet, one of those kids, I mean, this thing, if you would have seen what this thing was doing when them kids was getting rowdy, it was unnerving. I'm, this was really not a good thing. It, it, it was like, uh, oh, how, how could I say it? Well, it was ready to attack. It sounds like yes. It, 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 it when the kids got real jumpy and movie, and he would come out where I could see him crystal clear. I mean, he was in the dark. These things are not stupid by no means. Oh, absolutely not. They're extreme. but the kids well, were making him come out where you could see he was getting anxious. I, it, a baboonish looking type thing. This is crazy as heck, man. Just crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I, 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 you just, you know, people can talk and say and talk about this stuff all day long, but when you see something, you have to, I don't know how to tell you this, but oh my God, you, it's not, a, it's not just words. It's, it's a fact. It's really real. It's not, 
some storybooks tell. That's what just blows my mind. It just blows me away. Well, and that's the part that it's so conceptually hard to tell someone that you got to trust me. You got to believe me. I saw this physical thing. This is what this wasn't a mist. This wasn't an illusion. I wasn't on drugs. This wasn't uh, any computer generated anything. I saw this. This thing exists as you and I standing right here. And to tell that, to make someone believe so they can understand you at an emotional level, people can't. It, it's so far beyond because some of these shows that come out, you leave a movie theater after seeing a horror film, you go, oh, that's CGI created. Hey, that's all done with computers. But when you see this thing, you realize real quick, damn, this thing, how real. does this, this is real. How does this thing even exist? Where does that's, it... that's the hardest thing to swallow for yourself, for myself. It's, it's, I mean, I, 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 I need to, I, I feel like that I need to see it more. I don't know why this is really retarded. It's really stupid of me. I know it is. I know it is, but I, I feel like that I need, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes I just really need to see this again, but I don't well, really want to see it, but then I do. I don't know what to, I don't know. Well, you're, you're going through some phases. What happens is that when people initially see this, it's shockingly terrifying. They're scared. Everybody's on a different level of fear and shock. And so when they see it, that's what they, oh, hell, my gosh. And then they go through this belief, disbelief in milliseconds in their brain. Am I seeing? Really denial. Really a lot of yeah. denial. Am a I lot seeing, of... Exactly. Am I seeing what I'm seeing? Am I believing yeah. what I'm believing? Wait a minute. i got a buddy that's seeing this too. He can't be... We're not dreaming. And then what you do when you go through these phases, then you get to the point where, wait a minute, i I got to see this thing again. I, I, I just have to know that this was real what I saw because to me right now, I know what I saw. My eyes weren't playing tricks. I saw how it was behaving, agitated, as some type of an agitated possible attack. It was it was getting excited to do something when those kids yeah. were hitting that pinata. So that's the part, not only crazy just seeing it, but what it was doing, its demeanor, its character, its its actions of how it was getting anxious or aggressive and how it was popping in and out of the wood line there, that's the part that's to the next level of bizarre or freakish why you want to see it again. Well, I think it's just, I, I think you're right, because I tried to put everything in the place of this animal, and there is nothing, nothing that you could put in that place. Nothing. Not, not maybe from Africa, something I haven't seen, but nothing that's here. Nothing. There's it's just um, it just I I, I I I I just and you just don't know. It's nothing even. What do you do? I mean, just you know, I've been digging. I've been digging. I've been coming in the back side of the park. I, I was born and raised here. I know the place like the back of my hand. You know, I've been I've camped and went through the woods as a kid. This is what gets me as a kid. I've never had any kind of anything like that. You know, I, I, I had a what we called a a, 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 a cotton. It's a, a rolled up bed that my grandmother made for me that I tie the trees and I step off the ground so the snakes didn't get me, you know? Right. And I tied my dog underneath it because it was open holes in it. And if my dog was pulling me, he'd swing me and wake me up. And then I'd, you know, tell him, you know, hey, what's what's going on? What's going on, buddy? Oh, most of my dog's named Buddy. <laughs> so I've always <laughs> been like that. But I've never, ever even... You know, I just never, I don't, I just think there's getting to be more or something. There's more of them or something. It's got to be. Well, it you sure know? appears that way. I mean, one instance you could say that uh, the computers and um, World Wide Web has connected a lot of people and that it's just a matter of connecting these stories. And that's why it appears that there's more. But I think in doing this a while... And listening to other shows and talking to people, it appears that there is an increase. 
every year at certain times of year. We know the activity increases typically in the fall and the winter because you have the dormancy of a lot of vegetation, plants, berries, and so it limits food sources down to just meat sources. So these things, the meat sources are relatively sparse in an area, then they will start venturing out into garbage cans, into uh, bedroom communities, gardens. They'll go into areas some people will feed feed them on a regular basis, which I don't recommend, but it, it, it happens. They'll raid garbage, these huge garbage bins in the back of restaurants, in these uh, rural areas, in bedroom areas, and um, suburbs. So that's what happens in the fall and in the spring, or excuse me, in the winter. A lot have, of, you, have you ever seen uh, the tracks that they leave when they're traveling on, on fours? Uh, not on fours, but I have on two. Okay, well that's easy to pick up on two. But on fours, I will tell you that they kind of look like a cow track with a thumb. Uh, even the back foot, the way it's the way they put it in the ground. Uh, I, I I'll have some pictures that I can send you on your phone, and I I can I I, I know I know. Believe me, I, I will I will never tell you something that I think, and if I do, I'll make sure you know that I think. But a lot of people think that they are wild cows tracks. But if you look at it real close, you can see the knuckles. You can see where the thumb is way over to the right or to the left. It depends on which way it's coming or going. This is Florida. I mean, we got sand and mud. It's It, it just blows my mind that they are that smart to do that. I, 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 I don't. See, I know which way he come and he went because I kind of, uh, it's just really simple area. He, he, if he went any other place, he would have to go through a field where volleyball and, you know, so there's really only one way for him to go or come. I didn't see him. I didn't see what he did, but I know the, tra- I know what he did. I looked at him. I seen what he did. And the only thing that made sense was he's on all fours. I'd like for you to ask around about that and see if I'm telling you the facts. I, 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 I would, I, uh, yeah, when we get off, if you can immediately text that to me or send me via text, I'd like to take a look. I don't think I've ever seen anything in what you're talking about. But okay, I, well, I, 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 I'm going to go back and get more pictures. I, I have to do it this weekend, but no one's been around it. It's not been touched. I had somebody go look for me yesterday, and it's still the same. So I will have fresh pictures of it, and I'll put my finger, and I'll show you, and I'll put so – you just – then you tell me what you see after I send you the pictures. Yeah, and if I you st- – I may be able to do that tomorrow. I may do it tomorrow. Okay, and if you can either put your hand by it or give me a size reference or put something by it that kind of gives me – Oh, I, I, you'll you'll have an absolute size. You'll see a, a – ta- I got tapes in my truck. I got tapes, something I, I work with all the time. I got plenty of tapes. So there's a bit of size reference, so you'll know, and it'd be the funniest cow track you ever seen, which could be looked at if you looked at it kind of fast. You'd say, "Yeah," but it, it, it doesn't to me. I mean, I've been around cattle all my life. I I, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. And I really wasn't looking for that because I was looking for uh, a really odd looking track because it doesn't look. It looks human because it's big, but. The front of it doesn't look human. I don't know if you've ever seen a, a, a regular track, but it doesn't look like a human's track at all. You got a hill, but the way it's so flat and it's so bad gum wide that it does look like a human's like that, I guess, if you're mm-hmm. looking at it. Yeah, I, the, I, I've seen You know, them the toes in, and stuff, you know? Yeah, I, I've seen them mud and in, in some sand, but when it gets really sandy in some places like that uh, sandy loam, and places, you know, like in Florida, I've not seen what it would look like in that regard. So I'm curious to find out. All right, you will. You will. You'll find out. I get you all the. I send all the pictures to you, fresh. I mean, just as fresh as they they could be. I just take them and send them right to you. And then maybe if you have time, you can tell me what else you need at that time, and I can take care of it right then. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to ask a question about your buddy. Did he ever get his job back? No. Nope. So we uh. Actually, we, uh, I got him a little something to do on the side, and he's getting paid really too much, but 
I just I, I picked up some extra work for him just to have, and I just let him have all the money. I'm not even making. Uh, actually, I'm losing on it really, but I just I just felt like it's was my fault because he didn't want to go, and I and and I really insisted. Really, I did. But we went in the daytime, so this wouldn't this just backfired so badly. I don't. Can, you know, I want to. If you don't mind, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse in the ground, but I'm I'm still just like you, trying to wrap my mind around this. I've heard so many stories regarding these these feds. So this guy was what was he? What did he? How did was he dressed? Was he in a tie, clean cut? No, yeah, he was. He was kind of, you know, he was an average Joe. The lady was dressed, but he was just, you know. Uh, if you'd have seen him on the street, no, you, I, I wouldn't have thought he was any, anybody, you know, just like I told you before. But she was well dressed, slacks, and 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 really nice, like uh, dressed really nice. She was dressed nice with some kind of badge thing that was around their neck. Both of these were the same people that you spoke to or came in contact with the first time. Same people, same two people, same exact people. One coming, one was going. And you met them in their car at this park, was that right? Yes, that's where they was at. One, one was in the the SUV type thing. The lady was, and the guy was in the car. That whatever kind of car that is. Uh, so, so what, when you came up, that? did they say, "What do you want"? Do I now? When you came up to them, did they say, "What do you want"? I mean, I'm no. Sure. I went when I walked, when I pulled up there. I I just went to them. I said, "Look." Y'all guys know what you did, and you know what you did with my my laptop. All the stuff that you took from me, and a big smirk come on his face right then. You know, and I said I'll drop this. I just want my stuff back. I'll let it go. And then he says, "So you can crawfish." That's when I put my head down. That's when I thought, man, this guy's in with him. That's when I went. I went off the deep end a little bit, but. Anyways, well, I that tells me that tells check me you out. they. Can, I checked you out a little bit, and I thought, man, this guy doesn't know nothing. No, 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 I'm not. But, you know, they they can spin it as if I am, but I'm not. Um, I have no idea who these people are. Only, I mean, I do, but I don't. Well, uh, that's that's what how they kind of portrayed it, because they was kind of like talking as yeah, us and you was us. That's how it was left. But I got three miles from them. And I pulled over, and I looked up those things that you told me to look up. And I heard your voice, and I said, no, nah, this guy. But I don't know. I was back and forth a little bit. I and the gentleman that gave me your number, that's, I, went, I, I, I went straight to him. I mean, it was like, uh, like 1145, but I was really upset. So, And he absolutely told me without a doubt that you're – a helper, you're not somebody that's going to hurt anybody. No. So, no. and that, that's, that is his name. The guy that gave me the number, your number, your phone number. Well, he's a good man. I don't know him personally, but he's a good man to help you. Well, he and, said you helped uh, another gentleman that he knew of or something like that. That's, I mean, he told me without even a hesitation or anything. Yeah. He told me that I had it wrong, and I said, well, I, 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 okay, and I told him what happened, and he just said, "Them, you know, them son of a bitches, I can't, you know, I can't believe what they do. It just doesn't make any sense." Well, and they do their job very well. I mean, I'm not going to lie; they do it very well. They're very good at what they do. They're very good about having lots of ears and eyes out there when it comes to game wardens, when it comes to Department of Natural Resources, of course, and all kinds of uh, representatives and personnel in that uh, field, and they're very good at uh, having eyes and ears at uh, sheriff's departments and police. I mean, they've got a number of people that are the ears and eyes out there, and all they have to do is just go right to a location. So I suspect, as we spoke before, that I suspect, you know, how would they know to go there? I think someone other than your buddy called that they saw something bizarre or had an encounter, or was an eyewitness to something terrifying, just as you guys were, before you guys even went out there, way before, and that's why they were out there. Now it, we, it we, had to be. It, it had to be. They, they these things don't have. I know you listen. If you listen to shows, people come up with the most crazy 
I mean, people will say, I'm, "Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty level. I'm, I'm pretty earthbound here. I'm not. I, yeah, you know, I, I know. I hear a lot of people digging for stuff that just doesn't. Yeah, miss. they'll say, "Well, they all have chips embedded in their hair, and that's how they know." Yeah. I'm like, "No, no, no." Yeah. I like to see who stuck that one. Anybody? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we don't know exactly how they came to be. I mean, I'm open, but I, I, I doubt that. I'm just going to say I doubt that hypothesis. But I bet you someone had an experience. They saw it. Who knows? And that's why they were there. And they were there before you guys were there. Unfortunately, they were there at the same time that they saw you witness, you and your buddy, one of these things on the edge of the tree line there. Bad that's timing. That's the scenario that I played. I seen it. I played it in my head again and again and again and again. And you're dead right. Because where that car was parked was parked half and half where you could see part of the car. And I've seen it in my mind. I do remember seeing that car. But what I was looking at in the woods kind of blew me away, you know. So I kind of lost thought of everything around me except the kids. I kept seeing the kids, and that kept really blowing my mind. That just, you know, I mean, I was going to get out. And I said, no, it's not yet. I'm going to get out. No, I didn't. I just, I've done that like 10 times. I mean, I'm not kidding you. It was just... Well, you know, I wonder with that. I wonder, and going back, because I thought about our conversation, I wonder if whatever device that was on that car that that female federal agent, whatever device she had going on that car running, if it wasn't directed in that direction of it, and that's why it was staying relatively at bay and and you know where it was wanting to come out but it was staying back it was wanting to come out but it was staying back i wonder if they were just in a mode of preservation of that family trying to protect the people let them have their picnic without saying get the hell out of here you know you need to leave and i wonder if it was uh if they were keeping it at bay from attacking well i can tell you this if you have a dog and you know where they're at, and you think that the, the agents are around, take your dog. Your dog will not lie to you. They don't know how. And whatever's in their vehicle will turn your dog upside down. I mean, it will drool. Your dog, you will think your dog is going to throw up in your vehicle. Like the car sick, you know how dogs car sick? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly how my dog was. Just like he was car sick, and my dog don't get car sick. He, 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 since he's a puppy, he's been in my truck. Was he in the like the back seat or was he in the back bed area? He's right behind me. He's right there. I got a, uh, a fifty dollar cover I put on the back, and he rides there just like a person. He sits just like a person. He's a short haired German pointer. It's like having another kid. Uh, sit down, shut up, be quiet. He does what I what he's told. But and he, but I you, mean, he just went. He went completely off the chain. He just. Well, I mean, like he was in bad pain. I mean, that just blew my mind. And then the look this thing had, looking, I didn't see it facing because he wasn't looking at me when he did it. But he backed up, and I seen his head go back and forth, like, and it went down and went up. So, And then my dog started. I, 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 I knew something was up right then. I knew something was up because he bolted. I mean, this thing looked like a streak. These, they are so freaking fast. It's unbelievable. Now, when he bolted, did he bolt in the open or in the in the bushes, in the shrubbery? In the bushes. Went back to the bushes. Went back to the bushes, and I know he went to all fours because I didn't see anything up high, and there was just a small area. And I, you'll see what I'm talking about when I send you pictures. Or I video it, you know, but my since my phone got messed up, my videos, I can't send them unless it's a little nothing video. I don't I, I gotta I got to drop it off or something. I don't know what, what happened to it, but. It doesn't, I can't send a video for love or money. And I've sent videos to my dad. I send, man, I send so many videos to my dad and my wife. All the time I send videos of stuff, you know, especially when I'm talking to something about something on a job. And I can't. It says resize too much or too long, too something all the time now. So I can't even do that anymore. So I don't know what happened. I got no idea. But I can send pictures that I can do. Yeah, I'd like to see that for sure. So how long did this. You said this second meeting when you went, how long did that last with these guys? Just about an hour. Oh, a couple minutes being an hour. Were you standing outside or were you in a building? No, it was right outside. It was right outside where the vehicles were sitting there, the lights was on. 
I was sitting in there and I was waiting for somebody to pull up to break it up. No one pulled up. It was a little late uh, to go in the park. So I knew that was going to happen real quick, but it didn't even happen. Even after I allowed, I didn't see nobody. So I, you know, no one even pulled. Everybody was in there, was in there, and everybody was not, was, you know, was no traffic really. So they were by themselves there or was there other vehicles? There was another vehicle, but I can't tell you that it was with them or not because I didn't see it with them, but I seen the lights go off. And it was in the parking area where they pulled me up by the gate. That's where I seen the vehicle. The lights went off. It was. I got there and I walked up, and when we started talking, I was looking, of course, everywhere. I'm just checking everything out. I wanted to see what they had in the cars, really, and I seen the lights go off. But it could have been. I didn't see it after that, so I can't tell you that. The two, for sure, was the same two people. So, but I didn't go inside. I just turned and and I went and I pulled over right down the road and started checking you out and <laughs> checking everybody out I could. And, but. Well, I don't blame you. I really don't. I mean, when you encounter something like that that's so outlandish and so nutty, and then we talked, I mean, I can see that where you thought I might have been with them, and uh, so I don't blame you one bit. I mean, knowing what they said and how they said it, it sound it sure sounded like as if I was uh, in on this whole scheme that they were doing. Yeah, well, I did, you know, I did pick up on a couple things that they was talking about, and just like my pictures and stuff, I, they told me, uh, they was talking amongst herself and to me, like making me a joke, of course. And basically all I have to do is get more pictures out, uh, or more BS out. And that, that just, say that, that just, again, that I'm, just shuts down. say that again. I missed what you said. Your, your mouth was muffled. A lot of BS, if they put a lot of BS out, if things getting starting to get heated up, if they just all they got to do is throw a little bit of BS out, and then that'll stop. Everybody just kind of phases off. Yeah, that's and that's what they're right. I mean, they just put enough of, uh, and that's a good word for it, a lot of BS out there and just kind of say, you know, this guy's crazy. He saw a bear. A little BS goes a long ways. That's another oh. thing that they said to me a couple times. Oh, really? Yep, a little BS goes a long ways, and they just laugh. Everything's a joke to them, you know. It wasn't, it wasn't even a joke to me whatsoever. None of this is funny whatsoever, but they just, they, everything's a joke to these people. Just, you know, without no, without no second guessing, they flat tell you what, you know, huh. you know, just like you said, you know, a little BS goes a long ways. That I mean, just a- without hesitation or nothing, you know. That's, and it um, just made me madder and madder, and I just caught myself, and uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not ready to get locked up, you know. And I did, I did in my mind. I took him out twice in my mind. I thought, you know, I guess this lady ain't gonna be nothing. This guy here, I can, I mean, I just take him out real quick and get my stuff. But I just stopped. I just stopped myself and stopped myself. I just, it, it's not worth all that because there's no telling what the hell I'd be getting into if I'd done something. Well, stupid like that. I mean. Uh, I don't blame your thoughts. I really don't. But you're right. You made the right decision because there's powers that be we don't understand. We know enough to know that they find pleasure in destroying people's lives and livelihood. They find pleasure in being able to lie and everybody soak it up as the truth. They, they're they right. Uh, that is a very good word or phrase, if you will. You know, a little BS goes a long ways. All you yeah. have to do is put a shred of doubt anywhere in there and that's all they need the rest just yeah. kind of it's like a it's like an infectious cancer that keeps spreading and people will just eat it up and they'll say yeah i knew he was off his rocker i knew it i knew it why would the agents uh, or uh, people don't know behind the scenes that these are the people causing the lying to get the lies started and they don't need much they don't need no. much and that's just it so <laughs> It's really sad, man. It really, it really is sad. It just blows, it blows my mind. It just really does. I mean, I don't, I don't even know why. I mean, the only thing I can think of is there's millions of dollars of fishing tackle and fishing stuff, and there's millions of dollars of tents and camping gear bought every year. Uh, you know, would that have an influence on it? Maybe it would. Maybe that's what they think. So, I don't know. I mean, well, I'm just reaching for stuff it's, right now. It's, you know? um, no one's told me nothing. I just... I would say you're right. I would say there is a revenue aspect to it. It's in huge, huge, monstrous proportions. 
that could be affected, and it's a domino effect. It's kind of Pandora's box. Would it affect people if people if we recognize that there is some hominoid creature or creatures, creatures in the thousands across the U.S. that roam freely? People wouldn't camp, fish, swim, hike, hunt, bike. They wouldn't do all that. And then you would have people trying to, agencies trying to close all the lands, the wetlands, the swamp lands, the wooded areas. Yeah. And then on top of that, you have a phase of um, protection. They think they're protecting the public. And they protect the public by all means, which means they either kill these things or mm -hmm. sometimes they may somehow dart them. We don't know. Uh, they take them. They've studied them. They've, they know they exist. They've been studying them. They extract them, and then they remove all evidence that they were even there. And so to everyone else, you just told a lie. You know, show me the proof there. If you had it, well, there was tracks right here, but they're gone. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. There was blood right here. Right, but it's gone too. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. You know, so. There's no, there's no way. I got a lot of people who believe me because I was so against this in my younger years that they just can't believe that I'm even, that I'd even tell them what I told them, you know, and I've told a lot, number of people, but I just, you know, they know me. I'm not, I'm no nonsense. There's just, that's just, there's, I don't, I don't have time for that. There's too much real stuff going on without having nonsense in your life. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. And I just, you know, and I've, I've got, uh, you know, I just, uh, I'm almost going to investigate a certain area that I know. And I just, I know that they've been working this area. I know they have, but so, I don't know what they know, you know? Well, that's just know. it. We, we will never know, you know, we'll never know because, they're always covertly operating, and they we don't know who knows about this. Is military next coming in? What are they trying to do? What kind of surveillance? We, we just don't know those things unless you're working on the inside. So, so tell me this, if you don't mind. For someone that, and I know you've been saying it over and over, but for someone that is, you know, that listens to these stories, online of people that are these agents, again, these men in black, that people that say, oh, this is a made up story. This these people don't exist. If we knew if they existed, we would have known about it. The president would have said something. My senator would have said something. What do you what would you say to the people that deny that these people exist? What would I say to those people? What would you say to that, someone that said Someone didn't mess with your computer. Someone, uh, these these people that's in these black vehicles with government tags, they don't exist. What would you say to someone that says that to you? I would say that you're a well-paid liar. That's what I would tell them, because that's what they are. They're a well-paid liar. For someone to come out and say something so ridiculous, I mean, so outrageously idiotic is either a retard or a retard. It's just, you just kind of, you have to be a retard to even say something like that. Unless it happened, the odds are against you from the beginning. Yeah. So why, you know, why would you do that? I, I would stand up for any person that said, yes, I seen this and told me because I know what he's thinking in his mind. My reactions. He thinks I'm a liar. He thinks I'm this and thinks I'm that. I've done it. I've done it in my brain so many times. And I flat out told him, look, I don't give up. If you think I'm lying or not lying, I got no re You tell me what do I have to gain by telling you some kind of crap. It doesn't make me bigger. It doesn't make me smaller. It, it kind of makes my it makes me look like a retard if it's not true. I mean, would you not agree? I mean, no, I, I agree. I'm just that's what I'm. That's what I try to tell. And and people to tell me, nah, you seen a bear. Nah, you seen a bear. Nah, you seen. But all they are is a well paid liar. That's all they are. They're doing what they get paid to do, and that's to lie to the people. And I don't know why, but I can tell you, this is going to come out, and I know it is. 
I, I know it is. There's too much more. And something bad's going to happen to somebody. And I know it already has. But it's been somehow locked up. But it's going to come out where no one's going to be able to say it was a wild dog or a cougar or a bear. And that's it's really going to be bad then. And it's going to happen to somebody that's got some money and got some power. And, man, it's going to hit the fan. I, I, it just, this is how things work. And I know it's going to happen. I know it is. Because I believe that them people, if I had just waited, as far as it come out, the last time it come out, when that car, that's why that car come. Because this thing stepped out where you could see everything. You could see ball sight. You could see this thing was kind of like, I'm telling you, I believe it's going to grab one of them kids. I, I, oh. I, or two or whatever. Oh, good Lord. I, I'm so glad it didn't. I, I could be exaggerating two or three. I'm at, you know, saying, but I, I, I know. And I don't know if you ever looked at their mouth or how big their mouth is. Their jaw structure is un freaking believable well the whole thing's unbelievable but to add all the stuff that's true to it is just unheard of unheard of you know i wondered too in thinking about this and this is another thought that crossed my mind that i wonder if they didn't and again i'm only speculating here and just guesstimating but how they were able to be there while you were there, I wonder if someone didn't have someone snatched up or a child, heaven forbid, I hate even thinking about it, but a child picked up or a child missing or something, and that's how they were called out there. I don't know. I, I dug for any kind of thing. I, the only thing I could come up with with this is that somebody has seen it because this has been going on for uh, almost a month from what I was told. So somebody in the park service has seen it outside of J, JW, and I guarantee you they told. Somebody told somebody that told somebody. Had to. It had to. Yeah. Oh, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I absolutely do. And I just think they was monitoring. They'd been there uh, for a, a few days, or they knew. I just don't know how they knew. I just don't know how they knew. I never parked there. I never, ever, ever parked. I have been in the park over a million times in my life, over a million times. And that's not exaggerating. And I have never, ever, ever parked on the side of the road like that. I've either parked in a parking area or I pulled up by the trussle or somewhere like that to get off the road. I've never pulled there. That just, he said, pull over. I pulled over. This is where it comes. He was pointing and telling me, and then we just, our jaws hit the ground. About the same time, there, I mean, he's ready to go, and I'm ready to stay. I was pretty tough in my truck. <laughs> so, but if I was on foot, I don't know how tough I'd have been, but I was pretty tough in my truck. I wasn't, oh, yeah. I was kind of well, scared, excited. Well, and this was about what time in the day when this happened in the state park? Uh, three twelve. Holy mackerel! That's midday. That's right in the middle of that. I mean, I mean, it's the, you know the, the, the party's going on. You know, that's this is what. I just, I mean, this thing had the the, the kids had to bring it with a scream, you know, the screaming and playing and laughing, and that's what gets me, man. Is this thing come through a pretty good, a pretty tight area, a pretty good ways to get where he was at to see the kids doing what they was doing. I mean, it just, <laughs> you know, he had to come a long ways, you know, not a, not a terribly long ways, but he had to come a pretty decent way to get where he was at, you know, because they try to keep the park natural. So they mow around anything they can mow around and they got palmettas and, and uh, cabbage palms and oaks, you know, and there's a little bit of cabbage palms around the oaks, and it kind of makes little fingers, you know, going back towards the Mica River, you know. So that's, you know, and that's the way it come. He went through fingers. I mean, really thin, really thin areas. Not not no really much room for error. Not this big rascal. There's no way, you know. He, he knew exactly what to do. These, these things are really slick, I will tell you. I, 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 I just, man, that's, I don't know. 
I think I got them figured out as far as size. I, I think the brakes, when they do the brakes, they do the brake, the brake straight out, and I think about three foot add to the brake, you got a pretty good estimate of how big the creature is. And that's just a theory. It's not in documented yet, but I will have it documented before too much longer. Well, you one more time. I know you told me before, but on a rough height and weight, what do you guesstimate both of those? The height, if he, they don't, he, they, I've never seen him. He, there's no way they can stand straight, I don't think. Uh, maybe a back problem. I don't know if it's a back problem or they stay on their fours or what, what it is. But if he was straight, uh, I'm going to say 7'10", 7'11". Dang. 7'10", 7'11". And I can tell you, just I can give you a whole, I mean, I can put it pretty pretty tight if because i i know the limb i know the tree i know i know the, the mark the uh they go up and they're white it's they're called water oaks and they get dark and white dark and white dark and white so i know right i've seen it my i've seen it and seen it i kept looking and marking it and looking and marking it then it went up and it went down and went up and it went down so i got him at the height where he was standing there. i mean it didn't happen in just two minutes I, we was there for a few minutes i mean you know it wasn't like oh there, oh there oh he's going it wasn't none of that it was none of that at all. So that's why just, and the kids, that's why. The kids were there, that's why he was there. And this, uh, and what do you think, though, the weight then with 11, 7, now, 10? I, I said about 450. That's what I said. But I, I, we, he told me that I, he made me put in some other factors because of the size. And he thinks that, and, and by listening to what he's telling me and the thickness and looking at the tree, I think he's closer to five than he was four fifty. When you say he, are you saying your your buddy? Yeah, yeah. Because he said, "Look, man, you know how big that water oak was. You know that you couldn't see from his chest. Now his chest, that was the thickest part. But uh, if you ever look at them, they kind of look like a, a barrel in the in the front. I don't know if you ever noticed that or not, but it it, it, it it's really like a barrel, like like round barrel." But it comes up, it's really wide and it's really thick, especially up around where it's, you know, up, up from his armpit to armpit. That's where, I mean, they are, man, they are strong. Oh, my God. They're ripped. You can see everything about them. Wow, man, it's something else. I know they ain't no weights out there, so they must be using their front, their their arms for all their trees or whatever they do. I, I You know, I, I don't know that for for sure, but... I, I, I believe that they do climb trees quite a bit. I, I believe that. Well, you know, especially the babies. I mean, I believe that they stay in trees. I, I really do. I have heard that. I've heard that they do climb trees equally as well, and uh, just like Bigfoot do, and they have that capability. So they're very agile in the tree and water as well. I've heard they can swim very proficiently, extremely strong against current. So, they have to swim. They have to. There's no way to get out of there unless you cross the river. Yeah. There's, there's no way. There's no way to cross that unless you go to the rough that they're going to. And I mean, it's a rough. It's a rough, rough. And it's a lake and a river. They got to go through it. They've got to go through it. And I've not been able to find where that, where they're coming in or out of it. I don't. I may be off. They may. They just don't. I don't think they make a straight line to anything. I think they make circles to where they go. That's what I think. That's that's something I I, I, well, I believe is going to come out. Pick the thickest, densest places, and that's probably where they're going. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I believe, and I've never seen. Well, I haven't seen a lot, so I me mean, thinking that I don't want you to think that I have because I haven't. But I I I do not believe they they travel straight. They travel circle. They 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 make like circle passes. I don't. There's no straight to it, and forget a trail. If you want any kind of sign, go outside of any kind of main trail to the right or to the left of it. Usually, if there's if, if there's a hill or a higher place, but there's nothing here in Florida like that. So you just got to take your luck, go right or go left, and just keep looking and look for breaks. Look at breaks for look look for breaks about six foot, and once you start seeing the breaks, then that's that's usually where start looking good. And that's what I that's what I found out. You know, but I uh, my grandpa was a tracker. Uh, my Cousins of trackers, uh, Okeechobee. I mean, hog deer. It's 
I was raised doing that my whole entire life. So it's nothing, you know, it just, uh, I've been taught that all my life. So it used to be a big competition thing with us. But I mean, you absolutely know what you're talking about then when you're looking at uh, I just, you know, I just know that, you know, something's not going to reach up, you know, too much to do anything. They're going to work, you know, where they can keep looking because, you know, these things have got to keep their eyes out. You know, they got to oh, be yeah. winding and, and, and looking, you know, the smell and the sight. That's why they stay out of sight. You know, I'm just trying to put myself in, in, in how they stay hidden. And, you know, the camouflage is the biggest part, but their nose and their eyes is, is, is definitely, well, and they got the eyes to see, oh, my God. I mean, oh my God, what big black, I mean, kind of cool. Eyes, you know, like, ooh, ooh. Well, I tell you right now, a woman sees it looking in the window, they will freak any person out. Well, it'd give them severe trauma. That's what would happen. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's some people that has stared through the window and it look, they can't see anything. What they didn't realize is they were staring face to face with this thing. And then when they did, it, it freaked the hell out of them. And I mean, they rolled up into a corner in the fetal position. I mean, it's, I it's, don't blame them. You know what Wiley says, the guy that's on our team, it's a professional coyote caller, he said, you can never trick the nose on these things if they're like the coyotes, which they're a predator. That, I mean, they're much, much bigger and much more aggressive, we feel, but you, with a coyote, as a predator, the only thing you can trick on a coyote is the sound. You can trick them with sound, but you can't trick the nose and you can't trick the eyes. Because they don't have to see you. If they smell you, they're either coming your way or they're out of there. That's right. And if they see you, they're either coming your way or they're out of there. And so, but the sounds where you can trick them. That's the only place that you can trick them. Because yep. I, that's, a, that's a fact. You've got to be, I mean, you have no sense whatsoever. And that's just about impossible to do. I've got is. stuff to wash the clothes in and... I've tried all that stuff, and I've been well, I've been given away so many times. You the by only, something I have no clue. Yeah, I, I could not tell you. I don't know. Well, these things are one with the environment. When I say that, I mean that literally. There's there's just about it's virtually impossible to even trick them with sound, and you're going to have to be an experienced, experienced caller like Wiley Dave is, and he designs his own calls to a certain megahertz. You have to go with someone like that. Otherwise, these sounds typically that you get from Bass Pro, these electronic, that's not going to do it. It's just yeah, not I got a Jennings Bear call. That's the only thing I've had any kind of response to. Any kind of grunt, any kind of blow, any kind of knock, or any kind of anything. That's the only thing that's ever, ever, ever worked. Well, I've, got, I've got no sight or nothing like that. No, I mean, nothing like that. But I'm still working on that though, and it's well. Uh, here, I, I'm, a, I, I, I'm, I've been working on it pretty, pretty hard. So well, here's the thing that you have to be mindful of that people kind of forget. If they're doing this, you have to remember when you see one, there may be more. And if you run a call like that, you're ringing. You're basically ringing the dinner bell. You might have. You might I have know. more I, than I one. You might have more than one on your tail, and then what? You know what? Your what's going to be be your plan? You can't run from them. You're going to have to figure out a contingency plan, and you better not be by yourself. Well, I do it by myself, but this is what I do. I use high pines. I use thickets outside of thickets. I try to get a place where the swamp is really thick, but I can see very well, and I'm thirty foot plus. That's the only way I can keep my scent because then I can then I can start dealing with coyotes. And if I can deal with just like your partner, because he's a smart man, if I can whoop a coyote, I, I'm doing pretty good. I, I feel like I can I can get those to come in also. I, I really I do. Yeah, I mean if I you do. can, I mean that's the good point. You coyotes, people don't realize. You know, Wiley calls them land sharks, and that's right. But I tell you what, your average coyote that runs across the United States is one smart predator and if you can Very fool quick. a coyote then you've done some homework if you can fool a coyote you've done some homework and i tell you what wally knows what he's doing i've seen it with my own eyes that guy can shoot wings off a fly at 400 yards easy 
Well, that's 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 the kind of shooting that you got to uh, have. I, can, I can. just unfortunately I got to have something with a whole lot more pickup because I don't have shots like that here. Uh, it's too much, too thick. Uh, I've got fields and calling across the fields pretty. You know, I've got that pretty well down pat. I use a blanket and I I use the blanket to color the the grass, which right now everything's brown. So I use a brown blanket and I just spin a big circle and sit down and I look like the grass and as you know. I just, you know, I I just, I, I want to be able, I want pictures and I want a video. That's what I want. Well, you want what and we want to. I wish it happened every time we went out, but it, it doesn't. It's just, you know, everything's got to be just right. The moon phases. That's right. Well, uh, the call is the most in, most important part of all of this. Yes. And, and as a kid, the stuff that I heard in the woods I have put it to use in different places, especially if I go to my dad's. And, man, I get some reactions you would not believe. Oh, my God. But no sight. No sight. At dark, oh, I, yeah, it, it, it gets a little close. But no sighting. No, no, no star. I, I got a star, starlight, starlight. Uh, everything's white. <clears throat> and uh, my son got it for me. Uh, because that's the first time that he used it, that he's seen what he's seen with his own eyes and freaked him out. But he's he's with me on this deal. So gotcha. it's just gonna, it, it just takes a lot of money to get the stuff that you need. It, but I it just does. want real proof. There's no way to buck this. There's no, It's not a blob. It's real, just like the pictures I had on my phone. I it was it. no blob. It was there it was. Look, I mean, you could you can't make that up. You can't. If they said I designed this thing, I, I I would be like the number one designer of the world. Wow! There, there's, there's no way to build a suit. There's just there's no way. You, 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 there's no way. There's, there's, there's no way you could do it. Well, you, know, you could see the sun, especially his hair. All his hair shines like they 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 lick it or they call. I think it's a grease coat or something. An oil, like a oil, yes, oil. oil. But it's real shiny. If it hits the sun, if you see a flash in the daytime. Stop and pay attention, because they do. It does ricochet off them, and it does glare. It does. It's not yeah, dull by no means. Now that's an important point right there. That this is a fact. I can tell you fact about that. So when you see it, like you see something like that, glare like like a glass or something. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like the sun yeah. hit it, or I do. Yep. Yeah. Pay attention, real real close attention in that area, because. Man, you you you'd be amazed. Mm-hmm. He stepped behind a tree or or something, but it, it will it will. Man, it's like a mirror off of them. It's you know it is it's what it's the truth though. It really is. So they're not dull by no means. By no means that oil base, whatever they got is is uh you know it's 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 thick. Whatever it is, and it just shines really shiny. But a, a light hits it, it a ricochet off of it. Uh, you could, I mean, it'll glow. You could see it. You can, there's no doubt. There's no doubt about it at all. So tell them to keep that in mind too, especially during the day. I mean, you could see it a long way. That's a big animal. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's just, no, oh, wow. Wow is all I can say. Wow. That's, I'm that's, just, uh, I hope they didn't make these things out and turn them loose. That's what bothers me a little bit. Well, there's, there's a lot of theories to that. And then I don't know. What's true, you know? It's um, I think they've, I think they've been here a lot longer than what we think. I really well, do. Well, my grandma said they were. My grandmother told yeah. me that uh, she's so blood similar. She told me, you know, the big man in the woods, like that's her. That's what they call him. And they have been around since she was a kid, and her grandpa told her about him. So that kind of knocks that theory out the window. Well, I tell you what a. What a heck of an update you gave me here, and I, I do appreciate you taking my call because there'd be no way in hell I'd ever be associated with those guys. And uh, but Well, I believe that now. I, and, I, I don't. Uh, I, I apologize. Cause no, I, I mean, I, I'm, I don't tonight. blame you a bit for thinking that uh, based on the circumstances of what they said, how they said it, the demeanor that they had, and so close to us talking, and then boom, you go over there, and then they say that. So that tells me they're either listening right now, either they got your phone tapped, my phone tapped, one of the two, or both. Well, I'm not worried about it no more because I know that they know my family. So 
they know that I may not be able to cause a tidal wave, but I can sure cause some waves. Uh, I, I can do that. That's one thing I can do. Well, just keep yourself safe, and you're a smart man. I know you'll, you're will you witty, too. I can tell it in your voice. So I just thank you so much. You've got my number. Yeah. You can call. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Like I say, we're, I mean, I'm, I'm really in it, really, uh, for the proof. And, and, and it, you know, I'm not advertising and, and, you know, look at me. I don't care nothing about none of that. Uh, matter of fact, you're probably the man. I was told they could, I could send it to you and you could take care of business. Me, they could shove in a hole. You, a little bit different story. So. Well, if you don't mind sending those, and you can send it over, you can send it to my phone. Absolutely. I'll books. send stuff to your phone, so if you stuff pops up, you know my number, and you'll see. I'll show you a track wave, uh, how I get the heights, and it all absolutely makes sense. I would, I would I'd, I'd bet $1,000 on it. I bet you're correct, too. I bet you're correct. Knowing your background, you're able to look at those little details that matters to pick it out, so... Okay, Richard. Well, I appreciate that. You've got my number. Call 24-7 if you need to. And, if I call uh, you, it's going to be something. I won't call you just to, I, I know, to but I just want to put that out there that call me anytime, anytime. And, I will uh, do it. I was hoping to call you when I was in the woods a couple times, but it just didn't work out. Oh, I understand. No problem. No problem. So it's been an honor. Thank you so much for uh, giving me an update here. Blessings to you. Thank you for the wisdom of sharing the details to everybody and just uh, to me. I mean, I'm I'm learning as well. So I just want to thank you again. And if you have any updates or pictures, send them this way, and I'll put them online. You'll have them by this weekend. Thank you, sir. You have a you good, got it, buddy. You have and I'll be night. talking to you again. Yes, if sir. If you need me, please call anytime. Okay, thank you. Take you got it, man. Thanks, buddy. Bye.